Today I'm going to be unboxing two air quality monitors from a company called Air Gradient. Now they reached out to us at House Fresh and asked if we would be open to doing a review. I made it clear to them that whenever we've uh, reviewed air quality monitors, you know, we'll be as open and honest about exactly how they work to us. And what I found really interesting was that they said they were very similar to other devices on the market, but they had some features like data ownership, open source that sounded really interesting to me. So the two devices we're going to be looking at is we have the outdoor monitor which is $195 pre-assembled or $125 as a kit and then they have the indoor monitor uh, which is $195 uh, assembled or $138 as a kit. I can't remember which they wanted to give me one assembled and one kit so I got the chance to play with it so we will have a look for ourselves. But let's, let's just jump in and have a look. This looks like the, this is the open air, uh, so I believe it looks like it's made in Thailand. And then we have, this is the air quality monitor kit. So let's open this one to, to start, that's cute. A little thank you from Air Gradient, hand signed by the founder and CEO, always a nice little touch. And they have the QR code for the cell. This looks like it's the indoor, indoor sensor, so this would be sat inside. Yeah, it looks a good looking kit. I can already see the sensors inside. So all of the parts similar to Purple Air, you can replace. So if the sensor needs replacing, you can replace it. That's that. And then I mentioned we have the, the power. And it looks like they've brought a, maybe an additional sensor or a sensor that you would add. So if this is the kit, it probably is, there's a kind of instruction level. We can have a look at it. And be careful when you open it, but it's good. So we can see inside, we've got the plan tower sensor. And I assume then I will add the other kit. So the, this is probably the gas sensors. I'm not gonna open them now, but yeah, it's certainly, as you can see, it's user replaceable, easy to open up. This is, it's a little bit more expensive, but it means that you can just work with it straight away. So again, hand signed from the even, and you know it's hand signed because he used a black pen instead of a blue pen. So it's not just some fake growth hacking. So yeah, here we go with this sensor. Looks like it's all been assembled. So this will, this one will probably just be ready to, to plug and play. And similar to the purple air sensors, this is to be used outside. So we'll be mounting this outside uh, our house and seeing how it connects. And we have all the QR codes and how we connect to it. But certainly, you know, just just looking at it, you know, comparing to purple air. Purple air uses 3D printers to make it. So. If anything, this has a more polished feel. It doesn't, um, maybe it is already 3D printed, but it certainly feels a bit more, more premium uh, than, than some of the Purple Air devices. And I like that there is a big difference and potentially maybe a screen on the, this, the indoor sensor, which is very useful that you can just look at it without having to always access the app, which obviously for the outdoor sensor is not required. So, so yeah, this is the Air Gradient, the indoor and outdoor. Today we're going to be unboxing this Aware Element. So we're updating our best guide to air quality monitors for this year. And this is one of the devices that many people uh, recommended. It's fairly premium product at around $209 on Amazon.com, which compares cheaper to a device from AirThings that we, we are currently reviewing. Um, but it has an onboard screen, but most of the work is done by the app. So let's, let's jump in and have a look at it. Very nice uh, box opening, certainly, uh, with a little instruction, quick start guide. Uh, I think more manufacturers need to do this just to make things easier as soon as you unbox, because especially with many of these things, it's not quite sure how you get it going. So it's a fairly small device. Let's see if we've got what else in there. We have plug, different plugs, which is nice. We've got US, Europe, UK, uh, and then also it's powered by USB as well, so that's what happens. Um, so I've got a power bank here. But yeah, the device will, you'll sit it kind of, as you see in the pictures for it, there's a, you know, just have it out there. Let's, let's switch it on anyway and see what we're looking at. It has an app with both Apple and Android, as you'd expect. It's certainly quite a light unit. I think one of the challenges with many of these devices when I've tested others, especially ones that use battery, is that they run out of battery, you have no idea, and then it's no longer useful to you because you weren't even aware that it's run out. Uh, and in this case, it seems that you don't have a battery option, which might put some people off, but the ability to use power is great. So probably I can't set it up without the phone, but it looks like it's just in a setup mode now. 
Um, but yeah, this is the aware element. Today we're gonna to be unboxing the Canary Eye Fresh Air Monitor. So this is a CO2 monitor. Uh, I saw it on Kickstarter, I thought it was a really cool thing to, to try out. Uh, it finally arrived a few months ago, finally got a chance to unbox it here. So you can see inside, it's really cute. We straight away got the window to unbox it. Some instructions, don't take it personally, but you need to open your windows more often. It's all about helping. This is this Kickstart happened in April 2022. I'll make sure to drop the link to that in the bottom if you're interested. As you can see, it's a, a little uh, canary that will drop down as it when it detects your CO2 levels are too high. So I'm gonna just try and plug it in. This is the first time I've done this. Assume it's working. Oh, here we go. We're on. And then I suppose it'll just sit on the wall uh, until the CO2 levels hit a certain point and then the, the little bird's gonna drop and tell us that we need to open our windows. Today I'm gonna be unboxing the latest air quality sensor from AirThings. So one of their team reached out to me as we reviewed one of their products before and wanted to know if we were open to reviewing it. Now we don't normally accept free products, but I told them if they were happy for me to do a completely unbiased review, then send it along. So here it is today, we're gonna have a look. Uh, I can't actually remember the exact model, so it'll be a surprise to me of which, which unit it is. Now the AirThing sensors, they usually track multiple uh, different issues. So this, this is the AirThings View Plus and it tracks radon, PM2.5, CO2, temperature, VOC and pressure. So that was one of the things with the older model. Uh, it was one of the only devices that you could buy that could detect radon, which is obviously a concern for homeowners. Depends on where you live, but it's something that affects a lot of people. Uh, and most standard air quality sensors don't actually track that so let's have a look it's kind of in that box it comes with its manual we have the main unit which is fairly large uh, I'll put a link in the description for the older version which was similar to this but more circular I assume that we pull this battery out uh, includes more manuals charging cable and some command stripes which are I assume to put them on the wall. Here we have the device. Uh, again with their phrase, breathe better, live better. I'm gonna just pull out the battery thing to see if it kicks in. Uh, and the same with the older model, everything is done from, well in the older model, at least it was everything was done through the app. So the actual device didn't have a screen. And I'm pleased to see that this one has a really cute e-ink screen, which means that you won't have to replace the battery you know, every couple of weeks, which is not something you really want to do for an air quality sensor. So we have the option to add a device, um, which I'm probably not going to do now because I'm using my phone to film this video. Uh, but yeah, this is, keep watching, um, subscribe if you want to see the full review of this, which we're going to be doing very soon. And we'll be testing to compare how well this performs against all the other air quality sensors that we've got, see how accurate it is, uh, and just see how easy it is to use in the home. Because uh, having a device that is able to track this many things, so radon, PM2.5, CO2, humidity, temp, VOC, and pressure is pretty impressive, especially as you can kind of use it on the app as well. So that's kind of cool. So subscribe, like the video, and we'll see you next time.